Slime Rancher is a game where you farm these things called slimes. I mean, it's kind of obvious because it's it's Slime Rancher. It's it's in the thumbnail. Um, I mean, really, I don't know why you'd buy this game if you thought it didn't have slimes, but you know, whatever. Anyway, they kind of look like Jello, except not really at all. Because like Jello, I mean, like it doesn't have eyes and a mouth, and it's not actually alive, and you can't really feed Jello. So I guess really not. But okay. Um, the only enemy in the game is the tar, um, and they're like black and rainbow and stuff. And uh, honestly, it's just it's uh, it's quite they're quite tarable. Hey, get get it? <laughs> Good joke. Get it? It's a, it's a joke. Get it? See, it's it's a get it. It's because tar. And if you put tar, and it sounds like terrible. Okay, okay I'll I'll, uh, I'll leave. Uh, see, this is this is where uh, I would make a door sound, but I don't actually have a door, so uh, it's not there's no door sound. In Slime Rancher, your main goal is to farm slimes. I mean, we kind of went over this already and made the joke, so I guess we're just not going to make it again. We're just... Anyway, uh, yeah, you make some new bucks while doing so. Again, I'm not really sure why it's called new bucks, because it's like, I guess it's not called old bucks, and because it's, you know, old bucks is old. No one wants old bucks, right? As of recording this, there are currently three expansions. One is a cave where slimes who don't like white would go, which would probably include myself, considering I only go outside once in a blue moon. Uh, one is another open grassy area, and one is a lab, which has the new slime science, but we'll talk about that later. So essentially, the premise of the game is that when you feed a slime a food it likes, it gives you some of its poop. I mean, plort. Okay, but it's essentially just poop, but since it's slime, I guess it's like some weird jello looking stuff. I mean, we already kind of went over it's not actually jello, but um... Uh, anyway, moving on. That plort can be put in a machine that gives you some new bucks. And each slime gives you a different kind of plort that gives you more or less new bucks. Anyway, slimes look different and all behave differently. One is made of honey, which can attract some bad slimes from far away, and one can explode, which does some damage. Which honestly just it sounds like an explosion of creativity. Another one, which is called the rad slime, is actually not so rad. It actually builds up a radiation bar on your screen. When you get near it, that when it goes to 100, it starts dealing some damage. Pretty ridiculous if you ask me. So, we know when you feed slimes you get plort, and in turn you get new bucks, but where do you get all this food from? Well, first we collect the seven dragon walls and ask for a feast, since nobody could possibly cook food like a normal person. Soup at Supreme Kai of Time. I mean, a wrong game. <clears throat> in Slime Rancher, you start off by gathering food in the wild. Eventually you build up gardens in the same place you build a corral, and then you can start planting things and growing food. Or, for more picky non herbivore slimes, you may have to obtain meat. Well, I would like you to meet the coop. <laughs> see, see, see what I did there? <laughs> it's a funny joke. Good, good joke. <clears throat> the meat is where you put hen hens, the game's version of chicken, so they breed. You can then feed them to meat eating slimes. You won't need a restore to breed, but once you've done that, it's pretty simple. Right, so you're asking. You gain new bucks, but what else does this game have to offer? Despite this game being early access, there's actually quite a lot. For one, you can explore, and there's a lot of new areas to actually seek out with new slimes and foods to see. Speaking of new slimes, there's actually one we have yet to talk about, which is called the Largo Slime. According to the game's lore, a Largo Slime is when a male and female slime love each other very much and... Well, no, it's actually I, it's actually just when they come together, like, they just kind of, like, smush. You know, that's... It's not actually... It's not the... That's not really how the birds and the bees... But, I mean, it's... I, I mean... I mean, uh, you know... At, mm, you know, see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, uh, as, I, I was, as I was saying, uh, a Largo Slime is just a giant slime that wants food. And in return, you slowly but surely fill it so full, not only do you freaking murder in cold blood, it freaking explodes in a new card on Galaxy. Wait, no, that's, that's Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, that's probably why it's, it's New Galaxy. Um, <clears throat> in this game, however, they explode into a dozen smaller slimes of its type, and they give out a few boxes you can break open which contain random loot. They also give out slime keys, and these are quite literally the key to victory. These keys can be used on Bill Gates of the world. Wait, no, no, sli slime gates of the world. My, my bad. And you can get some new stuff. You know, this game sure is killing it. Get it? Get it? Get it? Killing? It's, it's like, it's kind of like, it's like killing. See, see what I did? See what I did? It's, it's, it's the version joke. Please, please don't see it. Uh, that does look bar. Oh, that's... Whew. That's just... Whew, it's pretty high. It's pretty high. Each area you unlock also lets you build more corrals, which are sadly not of the golden variety, gardens, which are sadly not of the olive variety, coops, and more. 
One of these new areas, which is extremely important, is the lab. And no, before you ask, it's not the dog. The lab is part of the Slime Science update introduced in Slime Rancher 4.0. You can put in certain ports and buy blueprints to use as ports to make things like a slime lamp. Sounds like an enlightenment, am I right? No, get, get it, get it, because it's, it's a lamp. Like you turn it on and it makes light. So it's like an enlightenment. It's like, get, get it, get it, get, get it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but seriously, slime science is really cool. You make teleporters that zip zap you around faster than the dislike bar on this video goes up every time I make a pun. Which is, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty fast. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty good speed. 10 out of 10. Uh, good dislike bar speed. Well, I would, uh, would play again. Okay, so I've sucked in this game's, uh, you know what, uh, long enough. Let's talk about some of the negatives, shall we? Hopefully most of the defensive hardcore fans of this game have probably left by now. One of the main issues I've had with this game is it can get very, very repetitive. Literally every morning you wake up, you harvest crops, you feed slimes, then you get to go explore and do slime science stuff. The whole feeding thing doesn't really get very automated either because the most you get is the automatic feeder, which you still have to fill yourself. I'm not saying I want the entire thing to be automatic, but I feel like the one thing you are constantly doing multiple times each play session should just become completely automatic. Otherwise, slime science and exploring is still very fun. It's just that harvesting food and feeding my slimes 24-7 just gets pretty boring. Maybe in the future, slime science will let you automate it all, but for now, it's still manual. That concludes my review of this amazing game, Slime Rancher. I really do love this game, but it can get slightly repetitive. I would give this game a solid 8 out of 10. It could be slightly better, but hey, for a access, this game is pretty good, and I would recommend it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my review, um, peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my previous video, you can click the previous button. Otherwise, you can sit here and chill and listen to some Lime Slime Rancher music. And, um, yeah. You should really click something. I mean, it's like, it's a little awkward. Just because, like, if you click something, like, it'll take you somewhere else that's not here. And like I won't have to just keep making sound and things with my lungs and stuff. Do lungs make sound? I don't think lungs make sound. That's not how that works. But yeah, you guys should you should totally just just click something. Like I mean, really anything. You click the X button, it'll take you out of your browser. You could click the Alt F4 button. I heard it uh, gives you a thousand gold on any game you're playing. Even if the game doesn't have gold, you get gold. It just that's how it works. It's a golden opportunity. Just do something, please. So, anything? No. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Right, bye. No, really, I'm, I'm leaving now. Means you should, you should leave too. You got, you got things to do. You should probably do that homework you've been, not doing for the past, hours. I should probably do that homework I've, been not doing for the past couple of hours. Um, yeah. So let's, let's do that. Um, yeah.